Hey guys and welcome back to another video and yes it's that time of the month again where we get our new update for Android. In this case it's a little bit bigger we have 7.1.1 launching today uh, on a variety of Nexus devices and so we, I'm going to be showing you how to update your rooted Nexus 6P either from whatever was the was it November November update for 7.0 or if you're on the developer previews on 7.1.1 already. Now we're going to be doing this using Fastboot and we're going to be using the full factory image just for this one because uh, we have, uh, well at least I have modified the system extensively so we're going to be using the factory image. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to head over to our computer first off and we're going to need to download a few things. Of course the factory image down here we're going to need to accept the um, terms and conditions and then you'll be able to scroll down all the way to Angular for Nexus 6P and you'll be able to see the 7.1.1 NMF26F build and all country, oh, sorry, all carriers except for Verizon which is alright because we don't have Verizon down here anyway. So I'm going to click on that blue link where my mouse is and you're going to download it. Next up we're also going to make sure we have the latest version of SuperSU which is the SR5 built on the 20th or the 11th, so the 3rd of the 11th um, this year. So I already have that downloaded and of course you're going to need the Android Tools folder which I forgot to bring up so I'm going to bring that up now on basket build. Uh, there is a mirror in case this is offline for some reason and you just need to download the Android tool zip file and if I bring up the zip file while the page is loading uh, basically it it is just the ADB EXEs and fastboot EXE and the DLLs required so it's just over here just like so you can skip the survey or answer it it's just a Google one there's no phone numbers or anything like that it might not even get a survey but um, yeah you would just download it from basket build or you can use the mirror down below as well so once you have all three files downloaded to a single folder here to keep track of everything uh, we can now go ahead with the process so first off we're going to do a couple things on our phone we're going to copy the latest version of super su on our phone if we're not already so to do this you just need to plug in your phone to the computer using the usb type c cable and then we're going to allow file transfers uh, optionally, you could download it from your device, so you don't have to copy it, anything to your computer. And we're going to head back to our computer here. I'm going to open up a new Explorer window. I'm going to have to re-plug this out. Okie doke, I'm going to have to set it again. Don't mind that Pixel XL thing, it's just a build prop edit. And we're going to go transfer files. So you can see I already have the latest version of uh, SuperSU down here and of course if you don't have it just copy it over to your device and you'll be A-OK. -okay. So as long as you got this on your device you'll be ready to go. Uh, it's not too late if you're in TWRP you can still copy it through there but I guess it's best to be prepared for this. So next up we're going to extract the Android Tools zip file. So we're going to open that up and drag everything outside into a blank space like that and then we can close this. Next up, we're going to open up the factory image. We're going to open up the angular-nmf26f folder. And then we're going to see these files. So I'm not sure if the bootloader needs updating. It doesn't look like it, but the radio might. So I'm going to be extracting both the bootloader and radio images outside. And then I'm going to open the image-angular-nmf26f zip file within the factory image. Now this will take a little time, as it is quite big, as it houses the system image and all the other various things that we need. Alrighty, so once we got this open, we're going to extract as usual the boot image, the system image, and vendor image. And we're going to extract the, uh, all of these out here. Now of course, um, you don't actually have to root your device again. You could just flash these images, uh, and then even flash the stock recovery image uh, in here, if you don't want TWRP anymore. And yeah, you could do that. So that is, uh, rooting is quite optional in this case. So while we wait for that to extract everything, we're going to go back to our device and reboot it into the bootloader while we wait. So of course we're going to need to turn it off. Or you could restart, but uh, we're going to play it safe a little bit so we don't waste time and disconnect the USB cable just so it's easier to get into the bootloader. So on our computer we've just finished copying or extracting those files. 
So uh, it might take a little bit longer depending on your computer. So once our phone pretty much turns off, we're gonna boot into the bootloader and start the process, which is now. So we're gonna hold the power button and volume down together and that should boot us into bootloader. Okay, I had to let go, but that's fine. Well, now we're in the bootloader and it's a little bit blurry. You can't see what it says down near the whites. And I'll just have a quick look. The bootloader is 03.62, so it looks like we are not updating the bootloader. And the baseband or radio is 0378, so, so we won't be updating either one. So you can delete those if you want, but um, yeah, we won't be requiring a bootloader update. Uh, that is if you are coming from the second developer preview. So I'm going to plug in the USB cable again. So just double check, just compare the numbers. It's the first two lines up here and compare them with the version numbers on the bootloader and radio images. Of course, baseband is for radio. And if it's different, then just flash the new ones over at the top and you'll be fine. So I'm going to head back to our computer now and we can close this uh, WinRAR window. Close the other one as well. And we'll be left with this very nice looking one. I'm going to resize it a little bit. So now we're going to pull up a command prompt window and we're going to start flashing the images. So we're going to hold shift and right click on an empty space, hit open command window here. And I'm just going to make the size a little bit bigger so we can all see this uh, quite well. Okay, very big. Okay, so first up we are going to check down our devices in the bootloader. So we're going to type in fastboot devices. And there we are, we're in. Now, since we don't have to flash the bootloader or radio, uh, I'm going to skip that. But if you do, the commands are simply like this. Fast boot, flash bootloader. Leave a space on the end uh, of bootloader and drag in the bootloader image, just like so. And then you, after that, you want to reboot back into the bootloader for the new bootloader to take effect. So that would be fast boot, uh, space, reboot, dash bootloader just like that, and your device will reboot itself back into the bootloader. Then you want to flash the radio if it needs updating. So you can type in fastboot flash radio, leave a space in the end of the radio, and drag in the radio image just like that, and hit enter. But then I'm going to skip that because I've already, radio is already updated, and the fast, uh, sorry, the bootloader is already updated. So I'm going to go straight into flashing the boot image now. So we're going to type in fastboot flash boot, leave a space in the end, drag in the boot image, hit enter. Now that's done, we're going to flash the system image, the largest one. So I'm going to type in fastboot flash system, leave a space in the end of system here, drag in our system image and hit enter. These system images are quite big, I reckon they're going to go to 3 gigabytes or something like that. So yeah, this will take a while, maybe approximately up to 2 minutes, depending on other things, I'm not sure. Uh, computer speed and all that. So we're gonna, I'm going to fast forward this until it finishes, where we're going to flash the vendor image right after. So I'll be back when this finishes flashing. Okay, so we're done now. And we're going to flash the vendor image straight after. So we're going to type in fastboot flash vendor. Leave a space in the end and drag in our vendor image. And hit enter. Now that's done, we're going to go to our device and reboot into TWRP, where we're going to flash Super SU. So I'm going to go down until it says recovery mode, hit the power button, and that should reboot our phone straight into TWRP. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to swipe to allow modifications. Uh, it's optional, I guess, but, uh, well, that's very bright. Let me just adjust some of the settings here so you can see it better. Okay, that looks better. So we're going to go install. Scroll down all the way until we find the latest version of SuperSU that you copied over earlier or you already had on your device. I'm going to swipe to confirm flash, and that is going to install the systemless Super User, uh, sorry, SuperSU on your device while patching the new boot image. So it shouldn't be too long until this is finished. And the boot up shouldn't take that long. Uh, we're just going to hit reboot system and it might loop through a couple times, but that is completely fine. And so I'll see you guys on the other side when our device fully boots up.
Alrighty, so our device has just finished booting up and it looks like we are in. So it's going to finish the update. The system is going to do its thing. Now you're going to see my buttons there the, the other way around because as I have the navigation tuner, bar tuner from previously, it, I guess it's just stuck there. And here it is in our support tab. The settings doesn't, no, it does, my bad. Um, let's see if there is anything we can do. I've heard that people were able to get a nightlight tab come up here at the top of the settings and they were able to enable that. I'm sure there will be a way to pop that back in, which is fine. Uh, let's see. So we're on 7.1.1 on the NMF26F. So more importantly, let's see if we are still rooted. So I'm going to go down to Super SU. I'm going to open that up. And yes, we are. I'm going to open up say titanium backup since it's uh, very handy and you can see it is okay so yes we are rooted and on the latest version of android so i'll be yeah that's that's about it guys thanks for watching and i do have some videos upcoming uh, hopefully something to do with the magisk something to do with cyanogen mod and something to do with a what's on my phone 2016 as requested so keep an eye out for that hopefully well, let's see. It's only Tuesday, so maybe towards the end of the week you'll see some more videos. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.